Newcastle this morning. Hi there, welcome back now. We've seen her put her hand to pretty much any DIY Anything. task in her brand new show, Renovation Rescue. Uh, she's been helping declutter families' homes for nearly three years as well. Oh, my God. So, lucky for us, Stacey Solomon is here to help you sort your life out in today's phone-in. Morning, Stacey. No pressure. No pressure at all. <laughs> How are you? Oh, really well. I can't believe I've been doing Silo for three years. Three years. That feels so strange. It doesn't feel like three years. But you must feel a real sense of accomplishment helping people so much. Is it absolutely? Absolute joy. I think I'm really lucky to have the opportunity to do shows like that where it's not yeah. just a telly show, it's something where mm -hmm. you actually get to be a part of somebody's life and, and helping them make their life a little bit better. So it's a real privilege for me. And the teams that work on Reno Renovation Rescue and Sort Your Life Out work so hard. So I'm, yeah, super proud to be a part of that. Time flies when you're tidying, Stace. It does, <laughs> That's the I know, thing. Uh, Now we've got some people on the line that are desperate to get your help. Yes, uh, with talk, some issues to that they have. talk to me. Talk to me. Yasmin first in Bedford. Hi there, Yasmin. Guys. Lovely Hi, to see you yeah, this morning. Now, what would you like Stacey's advice and help with? Um, so we've just moved into a new house and I have a big kitchen cupboard that I've literally thrown everything into. <laughs> and it's just an eyesore, Stacey. I don't know what to do with it. Um, I don't know. It just cupboard. is awful. <laughs> so you can just shut the door and pretend it doesn't exist. <laughs> that's what I do. That is absolutely what I do. Oh, that's a great cupboard. Is that in your kitchen? Yeah, that's in my kitchen. That is a good cut. Do you know what? I'd lose a shelf in the middle. I'd, I'd see the spices, right? I'd try and find a home for them inside the actual kitchen because there'll be things that you try and get to often, so you don't want to be going into a big cupboard. Yeah. But that cupboard, where's all your big appliances, like your hoovers, your mops, all of that stuff? We do have a big uh, utility cupboard at, um, at the side of the kitchen, so at the moment all of that is just thrown in. <laughs> I would, I would seriously consider it, all of your everyday things you need to access, like your hoover, your mop and everything else, I'd take a shelf out of that cupboard, I'd put some hooks in, and you know you can get real like good wall brackets now mm. for certain hoovers and mops and stuff like that. I'd put those up in the bottom half, fill that space okay. properly with the big sort of hoovers and mops and bits, then you can shut that away and always get easy access to it. Keep the two top shelves potentially for storage, but having pots and pans in there, I mean, if you're cooking with those pots and pans regularly, do you really want them on the top shelf up there? That would be quite, quite difficult yeah. to, like, get them down. So maybe use that top shelf storage for things you don't access as much and things that you wouldn't need as often, you know, like maybe heavy-duty cleaning supplies or things like that. You could paint it in there. You could write jazz it up. <laughs> I love that cupboard. Do you want to come and do it? All oh, right, you know what? We'll have a chat after this. <laughs> I'll be round <laughs> taking out shelves. Yasmin, that... does that sound feasible, though, take it, finding a new home for all those? There's a lot of spices, by the way. You clearly like spicy food. Is that, does that seem feasible, finding a new home for them and actually using all your sort of the cleaning products, the hoover, the mop, and sticking that in that cupboard and re sort of repurposing it? Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's helpful. Thank you so much, Stacey. Can I just ask, Yasmin, one question? Are all those spices and stuff, are they all in date? Oh, oh that's don't always ask that. my thing. Don't ask Ooh. that. Don't ask me that question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's mission number one. Check the date. Yes. If they don't need to be there, they can go. Because once they go out of date, they've got no flavour anyway. They're literally useless yeah. spices. That's a good point. <laughs> yes, that's a whole absolutely. different question, though. Hey, Yasmin, <laughs> thank you for joining us this morning. We'll look forward to seeing what happens to the cupboard. Stay in touch with us. Thank you so said. much. Um, you. Now we're going to go to Morgan. He's in Chester. Good morning, Morgan. Morning. Morning, morning. sweet. What's your question? Um, so I've got a two-bed flat and there's only one room that is used as a bedroom. I'm wanting to change it into a spare room. Um, but at the moment, it's just used for storage. It's got kind of like the, the dry buddy in there and things that I'm selling. And, and I've, I've got people coming around in a few months and I'm kind of wanting it for them not to feel like they're staying in the storage cupboard. Let me tell you something, Morgan. Spare room, the word spare room is the bane of my life. <laughs> we should never have spare rooms. Have you ever had a dream, like, in your home, have you ever dreamt about having a room that you don't have, like a, a utility or a guest bedroom or a yeah. walk-in wardrobe? What would be your dream? It, it, it'd be a bedroom so I can have people over. I'm, I'm quite a sociable person and, and I'm used to staying at their houses and it'd be nice now that I've got my own space to have them over at our house. So then you've got to wipe out the sort of spare room from your brain yeah. and say, this is the guest bedroom. I'm going to make this the guest bedroom. Find homes for the stuff that's in there now. So if there's clothes, are they clothes that you're wearing often or are they like your seasonal clothes that you've put away for a little while? What are they doing in there? 
Um, it, it's quite a lot of my boyfriend's clubs. He, he's a massive football fan, so he's got every shirt for him for every season. So, <laughs> well, tell so him to get that. a storage unit for his own football shirt. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. if, if, if they're football shirts and he's collecting them because he loves football, vacuum pack them, keep them safe, put them in a loft space or an understair space. If they're not being worn, hanging them up in a room is really just dead space and it's taking up precious space that could turn into your beautiful That's luxury guest, guest room. room. So I would try yeah. and figure out how you can store those things and keep those things as memories but not have them out as if they're functioning because they're not functioning. Uh, yeah. And then I'd look at the toys. Do you have the kids coming over often? Do you have kids in your home? Is that why I've, there's... Lo I've got younger sisters, um, so they're like, come here, Teddy. So I normally put them on the spare bed um, and, and there is my childhood bear on there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> they're, so they're all sort of memories and things for your little sisters when they come over. So yeah. maybe try and think of like, there's clever ways to store teddies now. You can get those nets that sort of hang on the wall that you can pick them up and put them in there. You can get bean bags now without the stuffing in and use the teddy bears as stuffing for the bean bags. Idea. Yeah. And then you can turn that into sort of your guest sort of like area where they can sit and snug. And when they come over, they can open up the bean bags, play with all their teddies and really just... Decide the, what the room is, like I said in the beginning. Purpose if it's going to be room, the yeah. guest bedroom, make the guest bedroom. It looks like there's like a... Is that a sofa bed in there? Yeah. Clear it out. Get everything else in nice storage boxes. Put some pictures on the wall. Make it homely. Make it really feel like a bedroom that you'd want to sleep in. Use that sofa bed so that, you know, it, when people aren't staying, it can be another room that you can mm. sit and chill in and have a cup of tea. When they are staying, you can pull out that sofa bed and get your sort of, like, nice linen on there, write a little message on a card for whoever's oh. coming, put a bottle of something out, a kettle. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. it looks like really... a nice room. Yeah, it looks lovely. Yeah. It's so lucky. There's no such thing as a spare room. Make it a room. Room. Your guest room. Thank you, Morgan. Uh, Morgan thank, thank you. you. Uh, right, quickly, we've got Carly. Carly, what would you like to ask Stacey? Oh, we just lost Carly. Uh, she was after a uh, wondering how she could upcycle her second-hand wardrobe. She's got a second-hand wardrobe that my husband has just put together. Quite a few scuff marks, some vinyl stickers of flowers to go on the front, something like that. You've got no idea where to start and how to put them on. Oh, well, I, uh, if I was going to... If there's scuff marks and I really wanted it to be, like, smooth and whatever, I'd sand it back, prime it, paint it, seal it, because if you're ever painting furniture, you've got to seal it, because it can chip it chips yeah. easier. Um, Is that quite easy? Because that sounds quite involved. It it's not, doesn't it? Look, anything's easy if you give it a go, but it's, it's time consuming. So sanding something back does right. take time, but anyone can do it. And you don't have to have all of these like fancy tools. You can use sandpaper, it takes a bit longer, mm. but you can use it. Um, and then priming, I mean, a wardrobe like that shouldn't take too long because it's okay. quite small. A layer of paint and then you just put a seal over it so that yeah. you make sure it doesn't chip. Then if I was going to put stickers on that, you'd have to let that paint settle for a couple of weeks, I'd okay. say. So if you That long? Yeah. Um, if you put stickers straight onto paint, there's a likelihood that there's oils and stuff still in the paint that will mean, mean they peel off quicker. OK. And if you wait a little while, they're just more likely to stay on. And if you want them to stay on even longer, seal over Barnish. the stickers. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, Carly, are you on the line now? I am, sorry. Hello, Carly. Is that something you'd like to do, maybe? Uh, it's a big project, I'll have to get the husband on it. <laughs> <laughs> or delegate. Yeah, <laughs> That's the way together. forward, delegate. And interestingly, though, I'd imagine that, Stacey, you would say it's all the more satisfying when you have done it yourself, even if you do take weeks to let the paint settle and then put the stickers on, the transfers off. I do love that feeling. There's, I do think there's no better feeling of accomplishment than when you've transformed something, you've spent hardly any money on it, yeah. you've put a lot of effort into it, but it's cost you next to nothing and you've kind of transformed it. It's a real joy pride. for me. Yeah. Pride. Yeah. And I'll make sure everyone comes and sees it, so I'd be bringing everyone in my house going, look at the wardrobe. The grand opening. <laughs> yeah. The grand opening Aww. of the wardrobe. Lovely well, stuff. Thank right. you. Thank Stacey's you, Stacey. Stacey's going to be sticking with us mm -hmm. uh, a little bit later on. She's going to be telling us all about her brand new...